The Anna Show, presented by the Cleveland Foundation. Be a part of the bigger picture. New segment. It's called Ana Llévame Contigo, and that means Ana, take me with you. That is so not fair. That is so good. <laughs> It was amazing to see such strong Cleveland connections to the island. We went to Calle Puerto Rico. Good morning, buenos dias. We're bringing you a concert to your home. You don't even have to get off the couch. I love salsa. Salsa is lo mejor que hay. Salsa is casi igual que la comida. Salsa is the best there is. It's almost like food. Like it's our food. It's our food, really, to be honest with you. Somebody came up with the word salsa, so salsa turned to be the ingredients means adobo, salsa, yeah, yeah, seasoning, salt, pepper, all the good stuff. So they said, well, salsa, the music salsa comes from the congas, the timbales, the bongos, the piano, the bass, and it's just brought it all to one, to one season. That's why they call it salsa. Dancing to the music and cleaning up. What about when you were cooking? That's what we did. <laughs> Getting ready for the holidays, whatever. It was always music. I love all music. Yeah, I love to dance here. Is it Spanish or where are you from? I am from Venezuela. Venezuela. She is in high demand. It's a full-service spa located in Menor, Ohio, 7340 Menor Avenue. Call now, 440-953-8108. Good morning, buenos dias. We are at Shaker Square at the Garlic Festival, one of the smelliest and most scrumptious festivals around. We'll show you why. What you want, Woo! baby, we got it. What you need, you know you want it. All you're wanting is some garlic fries. Hey, baby, try garlic fries. So they're fresh cut, and um, we soak them in water. We have a process where we double fry them, mm -hmm. and then we toss them with chopped garlic, fresh herbs, a um, little bit of salt. We use sea salt. And then we serve it with this, and that's the special sauce. So there are over 300 different types of garlic in the world. Yes, there are. And you have some of them right here. Can we you grow, tell me a little bit about yeah, it? Yeah, we grow 10 varieties. The two main differences 
This one right here is a soft neck and you can see how the stem's bent. Mm -hmm. So these, the stores like a lot because they have a nine month shelf life. There's a row of cloves on the outside and the inside. So on this you're gonna get eight to 15 cloves. Okay. They're milder, they last longer. Okay. Uh, that's why the stores like them. These are hard necks right here and you're gonna get four to eight big cloves here. It has a hard stem, that's where it gets the name hard neck. And these are a lot stronger. This is a white porcelain. Right are those over. from Red? Are those called uh, Romania? Are they from Romania? Yes, these, that's these? the country of origin. Yes. Okay. And then right. this is Korean red. It's a purple stripe. Your purple stripe is kind of like warning wow. coloration. Mm -hmm. It's telling you it's going to be spicier or hotter. Wow. I prefer the hard necks. If you're going to eat garlic, let's eat garlic. And garlic helps save the family farm because it it's another income. And half our farms, which we work with, 150 farms are below the poverty line. So that raises up their income level by garlic festival. So it had as a win-win. There's over 38 types of garlic here today. Mm -hmm. Romanian, Chinese, you name it. I didn't know there, I didn't thought there was know. only one type of garlic. There's tiny little Japanese garden. Oh, lots of garlic. Really? So if you want bad breath, this is the place to come <laughs> and get your stink on. <laughs> How do you get rid of garlic breath? You don't? Uh, have a beer? I know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just wondered. I, well, uh, you know. Because I love you know. garlic, but I don't want to smell like garlic. And well, I don't want it to... comes off my boards. It's in our towels. It's everywhere. I mean, I can't smell. I got a big nose, but it doesn't work. So. We've actually ran out of them. Um, we're on our last tub right now. Mm -hmm. so, so you can actually say that this ice cream is healthy because it's got garlic in it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You see what I say? It's not hot. You don't think it's hot? I don't think it's crazy hot. I really don't. <laughs> it's not crazy hot. It's just a little bit. No, it's just got a little warmth to it. Yes, it's not bad. You're absolutely you right. You don't have to run and get a big drink of water. No, you're right. You're right. You right. never put it in the fridge. Okay. I mean, if you make uh, garlic and oil, then you put that in the fridge right. because if you inter put the cheese in there, you know, you don't want botulism, so you can put that in the fridge. But fresh garlic, never put in there. It'll grow. You'll shorten the shelf life tremendously. Wow. And so this you made here? This, uh, yes, garlic? that's just okay. as... Uh, Can I try it? Yes, please do. It's got some, uh, get some garlic on there, child. Alrighty. You're not getting away. <laughs> Oh my God. A little oil. Come on now. Right, yeah. right. I'll give you a piece of a clove in a minute, raw. Mm. There's a variety of garlic in there. You want some good olive oil mm -hmm. and then uh, some Parmesan Reggiano, not the shaky kind in the green can, uh, $18 a pound and, and shave it off. And then you can mix that up too. It goes great with uh, the hard crusted bread, but mm -hmm. if you put a splash of red wine in there Ooh. or balsamic vinegar, uh -huh. Drizzle a little honey in the bottom, you know, so you can mix it up, and it, it, you know, you got a nice little uh, appetizer there. It's so good for you. It's so healthy. Oh yeah. So, do you think that you're healthier than other people because of it? Garlic oh, is very good. I'm, for I'm 67 years old. My blood pressure is normal. Cholesterol is normal. I got nothing wrong with me. I don't take any medication. Wow. I just, I just keep going. <laughs> And coming up next, Jose Melendez teaches us how to make tropical shrimp. And Jose was homeless, and now he has a successful business. Hear his amazing story. And later on, we're giving away two free movie tickets. The winner will have the ultimate movie experience at Silver Spot Cinema at Pinecrest in Orange Village. Stay with us. Hi, this is Matt Galini with Mentor iPhone Repair. We fix iPhones, iPads, and iPods. Most repairs are done in 15 minutes or less. If you're looking for a case for your brand new iPhone, we have hundreds to choose from. We also have pre-owned devices at a great price. You need extra protection? All of our tempered glass has a lifetime warranty. Need to get a grip? How about a pop socket? We also have a variety of iPad cases as well. I'm Matt Galini. Come see my new store located across from Great Lakes Mall in Mentor. Welcome to Don Tequila. You can enjoy authentic Mexican dishes, the crazy pineapple, la piña loca, stuffed with beef, chicken, and shrimp, the Ohio State burrito, and they make fresh guacamole right in front of you. A full bar with top shelf tequila with drinks like the jumbo margarita and the michelada. 
Come for a great party atmosphere. Visit Don Tequila in Manor and at these four locations. I love Don Tequilas. I love coming here with my family on their birthdays. I'm going to come here for my next birthday. This place is amazing. Elizabeth Image Unisex Salon, where looking good is understood. Cleveland's first Hispanic female barber entrepreneur, and she does my hair every week. Her team does hair, updos, eyebrows, pedicures, and will do your makeup for that special occasion. Elizabeth Image Unisex Salon, located at 4355 Ridge Road in Brooklyn, Ohio. You can contact her and her staff at 216-961-961. 4441 elizabethimage.com so all right so you're gonna make some tropical shrimp for us tropical shrimp i have a uh, pineapple mango Yum. i have some jalapenos uh shallots uh red peppers uh red onions cilantro this first the cilantro lime rice some lime juice of course i have some seasoning i also have uh parsley with uh garlic some uh chorizo and uh, those are for the decoration on the on the plate. So wow. um, definitely looking forward to put it together. Your your company is Melendez Catering. Melendez Catering. So and uh, we've been actually cooking and uh, catering for about five years. However, officially for about a year and a half, mm -hmm. we cater to all weddings, birthday parties, uh, uh, quinceañeras, uh, corporate events. I mean, you name it. I mean, even individual uh, orders we can do. Awesome. Alrighty. So okay. uh, what I'm going to be doing uh, real quick, I already prepared a lot of the stuff. So practically uh, it's just a shrimp okay. and this is just a version. It's my own dish actually. And I just like to put all the, you want to hear that this one. So tell us a little bit about the por history of Puerto Rican cooking or Hispanic cooking. The Hispanic cooking, actually, Puerto Rican is more, uh, as you already know, we're part Indian, Spaniard, and African. So we have a lot of influence from the Europe. So in the Caribbean, having such beautiful be beaches, you know, uh, we love to cook with shrimp, lobster. This shrimp actually is a pink uh, shrimp from Argentina. Mm -hmm. So um, I just love the color in it. It's beautiful. And, um, but I personally like to take all the influences from Europe and other countries, in this case, Mexico, uh, Colombia, and just come up with new dishes, mm -hmm. pretty much. And this is something that I came up with when I was in, the, in my restaurant, La Posada. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had a short lift. It was more like a testing period just to see how people will, uh, you know, take the, the new concept and it was very successful. So it's literally the same concept that I'm planning on bringing to, um, it's going to be called Sazon. 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 Okay, Cocina so, Las Americas. Uh, so that's the name of your new restaurant. Okay? That's the name of the concept, yes. All right. And so tell people what, at home what, what Sazon is. Sazon is, uh, to me, it means flavor. You know, sazon is more like the seasoning, uh, that Latin seasoning that, you know, we put into our uh, food. Uh, very distinguished because, I mean, you can really tell right away when it's Latin influence and when it's actually non-Latin. Because mm -hmm. ours have that little kick, that little flavor, you know, mm -hmm. and you got the garlic and you have the cilantro and you have these other f uh, flavors all together in once. So practically that's what I'm bringing in here in this dish, which obviously will be uh, put together with uh, mango and pineapple as well. Wow, so it's not always spicy, our, our food. No, it, it, no. it varies. Mexicans, they love spicy. I love spicy as I Puerto like Rican. I too, yeah. So um, I do have some jalapenos coming in here, but you know, it's all in the level of, of, of heat that you like. The kind of heat that I like is uh, more the type that when you eat, you just feel it in the after palate, you know, not really spicy that you're like, oh my God, I need some Good milk time. or something. <laughs> no, I, I like the after kick. Uh -huh. And uh, I love to look at new dishes. I look into Salvadorian, Equ uh, mm -hmm. Ecuadorian and other uh, dishes and just put them together. It's a beautiful. And the color adds so much to it, yes. to the presentation. 
So you have the red, the green, you have the yellow, so it's very nice and vibrant. Awesome. And it's followed by the taste, of course, whenever you put it together. All right. So tell us a little bit about you and your story. And this is part of why we do what we do. You have such a beautiful story. Well, um, long story short, <laughs> I actually um, went through a very hard divorce. So I always uh, look after my kids, making sure that, you know, they had everything they had. So unfortunately, I ended up being homeless. You know, I was literally living on the streets, you know, I struggled for about 10 years. Uh, I was living in, in people's homes and, you know, there was a time that I went like, well, you know what, I need to do something about it. And uh, the Spanish American committee helped me and uh, definitely they got me a good job and everything. I still feel a little empty uh, because, I mean, I was like, man, I mean, I really want to do something that, you know, that I can do for myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, one one day, I found myself in a position where I really, really needed to find an apartment. I'm like, man, I need to do something because, of course, I want to spend time with my kids mm -hmm. and have a, a secure home for them. And uh, I had the opportunity to work with Pat Catan at Catan Fashions, and uh, she had a fashion show, and she said, well, help me promote my event, mm -hmm. and I'll help you with whatever you need. And so I asked her, just let me present my food. So I presented lasagna, and out of that event, I got three weddings, and the I was cater. able wow. catering, mm -hmm. and I was able to actually, um, I was able to get my rent and all that. But one thing that I found out was that it wasn't just family telling me, "Hey, you cook good." Now other people are telling me, "I like your food." So I found passion in the cooking, and from there, I mean, it was just. You know, now I got a beautiful home. I got a beautiful family. Beautiful uh, wife. <laughs> got my wife. Mm -hmm. I also have, uh, you know, another company. It's a cleaning company. It's a cleaning housekeepers. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I guess we're blessed. Absolutely. We're very blessed. So food and the cooking saves your life, along with the Spanish American Committee. It yes. Like to me. Yes, and and the Spanish American Committee actually uh, gave me the opportunity after years that. Uh, I'm proud to say that I'm today uh, the, their president, the board president. Yeah. And I was the board president for their 50th anniversary, which is historic. And also, oh my goodness. To me, that was a big achievement. Uh-huh. Okay, and this is ready. Thank you. Well, thank you for sharing your story. Because a lot, I, lot know, of people like, need to hear it. Yes, <laughs> I, and you know what? A lot of people don't really know, well, the struggles that a lot of people go through. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a story. And I always say, you know what? Follow your dreams. Follow mm -hmm. your dreams and you'll, you'll get there. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this case, I, it was the food. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about what Spanish American Committee does for the community? Because it's not just for Hispanics. It's for the whole community. It's for the whole community. And actually, we are uh, the... Uh, oldest non-profit organization, social services organization in the state of Ohio. And what we do is uh, we help with housing. We also help with uh, uh, job placement. We help with uh, social services. Right now we have helped over 600 families that have arrived from Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Wow, six, that's up to 600? Well, it's actually over a thousand right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I'm just going by number, all numbers. Mm -hmm. So, definitely, uh, it, it's been a, a lot mm -hmm. of hard work mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And anybody that is looking for, um, that is looking for a location or a place to, that is gonna help them out either with jobs, and that's anybody like you said. Mm -hmm. Uh, jobs or housing, buying their first, first home. That's a lot of, oh, we have financial literacy too. Wow. So it's a process of whenever you come in through the doors and you seeking help, okay, we're going to help you find a job. Uh, we help you with GED. Mm -hmm. We're the only ones in the state of Ohio with, uh, with that doesn't in Spanish. And then we find you a job. We actually go through financial literacy. And finally, we help you buy your, your home. That's wonderful. That's so much that you, that's so much that that committee does. It's 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 so much, and you know we wish that we can do so much more. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, there's sometimes just resources are a little. Uh, 
the government, you know, we work with a lot of uh, government assistance, you know, so we just hoping that there's more available to the Hispanic community mm -hmm. in the future. Especially with all these um, uh, families coming in from Puerto Rico, yes. there's so much talent. So you'll probably have a lot of entrepreneurs, right? Yes. I have, I have met through Facebook a lot of them and uh, they have their own businesses in Puerto Rico. Okay. Obviously the, the challenge is the language, mm -hmm. but um, there's opportunity everywhere. I mean, construction, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there's a lot of teachers that are coming in. And you have ESL at, at the Spanish American Community yes. Tambien, right? We have um, ESL, um, English as a Second Language as mm -hmm. well. So um, we have a program right now working with Turner Construction and uh, Metro Health mm -hmm. where there's people that know construction, but mm -hmm. we want to bring them in for to start working in construction. Mm -hmm. However, the biggest challenge is the language. So we're teaching them the language based on the industry. Got it. That way we can have them ready. That way they can start working and bring their families. So here it is. We have a pineapple that uh, is gonna be our base in here, our little Aww. bowl. So Christina, this is how you eat all the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's put it this way. I was 140 <laughs> pounds when I met her. <laughs> well, I have been 25 pounds. So. Uh, it's love. That's what love, love does. That's and awesome. Let's mix yeah, this. Yeah, so shout out to all the Puerto Ricans and the immigrants who need to learn our language, the English language, right? A lot of times yes. people, they're shy about going to those places, but they're so welcome, welcoming and friendly and they want you to succeed. So please go check them out, the Spanish American Committee. Yeah, if we, and believe me, uh, we're in open arms. I was, I was personally a client and today I am where I'm at because of them. So mm -hmm. I highly recommend them. Que lindo. So. That's nice. Oh my God, eso está rico, eso está divino. So now for the final taste test. And um, I've had his cooking before, so I know it's going to be amazing. Mmm. Mmm, eso está divino. <laughs> eso está rico. It's awesome. So if you want to check out some of Jose's um, food, you go to Melinda's Catering. You got Facebook. Melinda'sCatering.com. Mm -hmm. And I have Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. And our number is 216-857-7132. My God, this is amazing. And thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you for we, coming by. We appreciate it. Hopefully it'll inspire other people to keep mm -hmm. going. Definitely. To live their dreams. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up next, exclusive interviews with the crew of the incredible Blue Angels. It's a story you won't want to miss. Stay with us. Okay, the time has come. We are giving away two free movie passes to Silver Spot Cinema at Pinecrest and Orange Village. The theater has reclining leather chairs. Let me tell you, the screen is three times the size of a regular movie theater. It has a bar and a full kitchen, so you can order burgers, nachos, popcorn, a half hour before the movie starts. Okay, so in order to win the two movie passes to Silver Spot Cinema, you must be the first person to answer this question correctly. What is the name of the salsa band we featured in the beginning of the show? Be the first person to answer the question correctly on the Ana Show Facebook and win. Hey, bienvenidos a Caribe. Welcome to Caribe Bay Shop. Aquí estamos ubicados en el mismo lugar, la 2906 Fulton Road. Here we have served two of our most popular platters. They're both ten dollars. Come with a rice, a meat, a side. Sandwich cubano, sandwich de pernil, sandwich de jamón y queso. La gente puede ordenar para fiestas, para bodas, para cumpleaños. You can feel the love from just all of our customers here and how much they support us. The way rape or sexual abuse impacts your life is yet to be determined. Cleveland Rape Crisis Center is here to support you every step of the way. Call or text anytime, 216-619-6192, or visit one of our many convenient locations. Change starts here. La Loma in Akron. 
Voted number one best taco in the state of Ohio. La Loma Restaurant, known for authentic Mexican food. Fajitas, pork rotisserie, burrito with white cream sauce, soups, Mexican drinks and desserts, a full service supermarket complete with your own butcher, marinated meats and spices. Bring your family and friends to La Loma in Akron, Tuesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. demonstrations at the Cleveland National Air Show. We talked to the Blue Angels ground crews that keep them in the air. They are the best of the best. Hola, mi nombre es Jose Muñoz. Eh, soy de Ecuador, Guayaquil, y trabajo en power plants con los Blue Angels. Eh, trabajamos con las máquinas y todo el sistema de, de fuel en, en, en los F-18. Oh, my name is Julius Maldonado. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I'm an aviation electronic technician. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Pedro Gonzalez from Caracas, Venezuela, and I'm the maintenance chief for the Blue Angels. Hola, I'm Pedro Nicole Vito. I am from San Pedro Sula, Honduras, and I work on all the extra survival equipment. Hi, I'm Jose Torres from Aranjas Patch, Texas, and I am an aviation technician. At the air show, my specific job, I'm a first mech, so basically when we do the launch, you'll see us behind the jets, and I have the two and three jet, I'm the first mech, so when the show starts going on, uh, we have signals from our crew chief, so when the engine turns on for our side, we make sure you know it's open, the vents are opening, and then we give them a thumbs up. And then we put the little performance that we're trained for, and then anything to do, like I said, for survival, which is their helmet for comms, if they have any issues, or if there's a tacking missing on their harness, that's what I'm here for, a quick fix, and send them off to put on a good show for you guys. The closest we get is 18 inches. There's a lot of pillars that support this team, uh, but teamwork and trust are two that I go to a lot. It's nice to see a girl. It's nice to see a woman. It's nice to see someone of, even if it's of color, where are you from, where you're Spanish, and they get so excited. And then how they see us work with our brothers as well, they're just amazed by it. And it's amazing, I love it. 